Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found a YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're answering a viewer question. Anna D asks, do mounted police officers have to clean up their horse's poop? And hey, just before we get started, if you've got a question for us that you would like us to answer, please do let us know in the comments below. All right, let's get started. Mounted police, they're a pretty common sight in many cities across the world. A reasonable sized draft horse, which is usually what such officers use, produces about 40 pounds, that's 18 kilograms, of feces every day, or about 14,000 pounds, that's roughly 7,000 kilograms per year, not to mention about 1,000 gallons of urine annually. A typical police horse will work around 8 hours per shift, 5 days a week. This means that for each police horse, around 3,000 pounds, that's 1,400 kilograms, kilograms of poop finds its way onto the city streets and sidewalks every year. So, well, the question is, well, whose job is it to clean up this massive amount of fly pie? While rules vary from place to place, in the vast majority of cases, it's not the police's job, though they are generally encouraged internally to pick it up whenever possible. For example, in the FAQ page from St. Paul's Mounted Police Foundation in Minnesota concerning this exact matter, by law, we are not required to clean up after our horses while on patrol. That said, they go on to note that mounted officers make every attempt to clean up poop if it falls in unwanted areas, such as a public footpath or outside of a restaurant, so long as it doesn't impede their official duties. As you can imagine, the fact that mounted officers are under no obligation to clean up after their horses occasionally causes friction with the general public. For example, in the UK, a review of complaints made about mounted officers revealed that a high percentage were from irate citizens, specifically complaining about officers not cleaning up after their horses. For the curious, in the UK, mounted officers are simply instructed to leave horse turds where they are if they land on a road and are merely encouraged to report it to local councils if their horse fouls a public area. All right, so let's hop back across the pond to the United States. Well, many police departments are oddly coy about discussing this topic. The NYPD in particular seems to regularly refuse to respond to requests for comments from papers about whose job it is to clean up the poop left by police horses. For example, in 2013, the New York Post reached out to the NYPD while covering a story about horse turds that were left in the street to fester on the Lower East Side. The NYPD, they refused to comment on the matter. However, the Post eventually discovered that it is officially the New York Sanitation Department's job to clean up after equestrian officers' leavings. Why the NYPD didn't just say this? Well, that's actually unclear. The NYPD has similarly refused to comment on why their horses don't wear specially made horse diapers, which really do exist. In fact, by law, all carriage horses in the New York parks and certain other areas must wear such a device. The specific law is this. Anyone who drives a horse-drawn carriage is required to equip it with horse hampers, horse diapers, or some other similar manure-catching device, which is effective in preventing manure from being deposited on any park street, road, or way. The rule does not apply to NYPD horses for unspecified reasons. An almost identical law exists on the books in Washington, D.C., and again, police horses are likewise exempt. As in New York, there's no explanation as to why, with the closest thing we could find to an official answer being an offhand remark from an officer saying that they looked into getting horse diapers at some unspecified point, but then they opted not to use them. The officer, one Michael Lauer, never goes into any detail why and instead explains that mounted officers carry around a plastic bag and may clean up after their horse if it poops in a high traffic area. Mounted officer Tom Stewart also notes, if we're out there riding and our horse has a drop, we just make a note of it. Before we leave the beats, we ride back up with the truck and we pick it up. However, once again, mounted DC officers are not required to clean up after their animals and can, if they so choose, leave the poop where it is, even if the officer is not otherwise busy or is in a location that would be dangerous for them to pick up the poop. Nonetheless, Lauer does emphasize that our officers and riders have been very diligent about the cleanup, and one unspecified officer even managed to train his horse to only defecate in specific places along his beat that would not trouble anyone. A possible explanation concerning why American police horses don't wear diapers, like horses used for commercial purposes are often required to do, is given by the Australian Mounted Police, namely that the diapers could potentially hinder a horse when it's in full gallop. Proponents of including police horses in laws requiring city horses to wear such, however, note that the vast majority of the time Mounted Police are deployed, they are not galloping around. 
On top of that, it's speculated that in full gallop, the diaper would likely just fall off anyway, making it mostly a non-issue in the rare instances where an officer induces their over half-ton charges to break into a full gallop in public areas. Now, all of this said, as far as we could find, nobody on either side of the argument seems to have actually tested the full gallop diaper thing to see if it would actually be a problem or not. And, well, it isn't clear whether proponents and opponents are just speculating or are speaking from some experience with galloping diapered horses, which, well, that's a phrase I thought I'd never say. Whatever the case, one place where equestrian cops seem to be borderline required to clean up after their animals is in Canada. In addition to being equipped with shovels and plastic bags to clean up poop, are asked, if the poop falls onto a public walkway or the like, to use their heavy-soled, polished boots to kick any stray droppings that they can't remove into the street for a cleaning crew to pick up later. That said, given the nature of their duties, Canadian authorities note that it isn't always feasible for officers to dismount and clean up after their horses. On top of that, sometimes the officers simply don't notice that their horses are pooping. Thus, any citizens who spy a stray horse park are encouraged to call city services, who will come and clean it up. So, at this point, you might be wondering why mounted police are even a thing at all anymore. Well, to answer that, the NYPD's website notes, The mounted unit pursues a fourfold mission, which consists of traffic control, crowd control, community relations, and the prevention of street crime. Public relations is a mounted unit forte. Seldom is public attention so magnetically drawn to police as it is to an officer on horseback. The expertise of mounted unit officers in crowd control is also renowned. Our officers are used extensively at concerts, demonstrations, strikes, entertainment events, public celebrations, and the numerous assemblages that take place throughout the year. It has been estimated that one mounted officer on horseback has the effect of ten officers on foot, depending on the demeanor of the crowd. The mounted unit has therefore earned the reputation for being in the vanguard whenever the police department is called upon to ensure the order and safety of the large throngs of people frequently found in the nation's largest and most dynamic city. It is also noted that mounted officers have a much better ability to scout and spot developing issues versus officers on foot in such crowded scenarios due to how high off the ground they are. In fact, the NYPD has a minimum height requirement of 5.1 feet or 1.6 meters on their horses. Mounted officers also often state that they just prefer having a horse along when giving tickets and the like. Sergeant Joseph Harched of the LA Mounted Police elaborates that when arresting a guy from a police car, invariably that in individual's significant other will want to hit you in the head with a pan. But when doing it with your trusty horse at your side, instead they are petting the horse. Nobody's ever come up to me and asked whether they can pet my patrol car. Retired mounted officer and professor of criminal justice at Penn State, Jim Ruse, further notes, you may have the biggest jerk in uniform, but all the public sees is the horse. Ruse also praises the mounted officer's superior ability to catch bad guys in parks, alleys, and other such places that a patrol car may not be able to go. We used to have an axiom in Mounted. If you run from us, you'll only go to jail tired. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up below. And if you'd like more to read on this subject, particularly to do with horses in wars, please do check out the book recommendation for this episode. It's called The Perfect Horse. Perfect as in Hitler wanted to make a horse master race. We're not joking. Go check out the book. There's a link in the description below. I'd also like to take this moment to thank our patrons on Patreon. You can go to patreon.com forward slash today I found out if you are interested in supporting us. And as always, thank you for watching.